me learning. Where is she? In? She's not going to second grade. Second grade. Yes, but she started when she was three. I mean, and, and she's she learned how to you know uh, write her name at that age. You know, versus me, I didn't know how to remember them until I was you know in kindergarten, five years old. And at three, she's learning how to write her name. And now she's writing you know sentences and paragraphs. You know, at the end of the day, uh, the success of an educational system and what we do as a state, as a local community, is dependent on parents. Uh, when moms and dads uh, pay attention to what's going on in their educational activities, we get great results. So, and this guy, Steve Barnett, who's a professor down at Rutgers, uh, about 12 years ago got inside my head uh, and uh, made the argument that if you prepare your children at the earliest stages to be prepared for school uh, and learn, then they will be better learners all the way through their whole career in the process. A teacher, you know, taught her how to read and she is reading and she writes really, really well and she did the pre-K in kindergarten, she just graduated. The ones that have the ability to absorb math and science, and reading and oral skills end up really performing well. So our job is really to figure out are we getting the kinds of results in New Jersey that we've seen in national studies? We see that kids in these urban districts who've been to preschool are ahead in their language and general cognitive abilities, they're ahead in their literacy skills, and they're ahead in mathematics. She has three children. The 22-year-old, for example, wouldn't bring homework home, where the six-year-old did, and she was writing sentences, and the result was that she did perfect scores, like high scores, in her Terranova test. The kids still, by the end of second grade, have made twice as much progress if they had two years of preschool as if they had one year of preschool. The social piece is very, very, very important to us. So if it wasn't for this program, she wouldn't have any social skills or academic skills. She wouldn't be around any other children. So I can't imagine just tossing her into, you know, kindergarten, she's going to start. You grow up and it's part of what your, you know, it's who your friends are and how you think about it. And then learning is fun. And it's, it's a social experience as well as uh, a learning experience. There are people in society that will argue this is babysitting. And I'll tell you, that is a failed, failed thought. And the reality is, is what we're doing is bringing school reform to its most important place, the foundation of where a child gets started. So if you, you ask yourself why do four out of ten kids in some places drop out of high school? Well, it's because four out of ten of them haven't been doing well since they walked in that kindergarten door. And that's what we're putting a stop to. We're sustaining it and expanding it, uh, making it better, and uh, allowing more children to have access to it. And if we keep doing that, New Jersey's going to have the smartest, brightest, ablest children uh, grow up with the best chance of success.